Hi everyone, I've got a new guitar to show you. It's new guitar day. And here's a, a little bit of a departure from what I've been doing lately, um, wood-wise. I've been on a rosewood streak. And this is a Nautilus, and it's made with Tunnel 14 Redwood and a highly figured Myrtle. Um, and Myrtle is one of my, one of the surprise woods for me. Um, of the North American hardwoods, I think it has, when it's figured, it can have some of the most stunning figure of anything. Um, and it sounds fantastic. Uh, I think it's a little bit denser uh, than maple for the most part. So a little bit more towards the rosewood side of things, but still lighter than rosewood. Um, produces a little more of a, a woody guitar with a lot of warmth. Um, the only thing, Myrtle's kind of a weird color um, often. Some, some of the sets are, some of the wood is, is very nice. Some of it looks sort of dishwater yellow. And um, although this set was really, it was really bright and clean, I just wanted to do something special with it to darken it. So I gave the whole instrument a cello style uh, burst. So it's a single color, a dark brown, and a fairly light application of the color. Um, and I really like the effect. I think it's like, it's like an autumn guitar. Um, makes it look very rich. Everything else on the guitar is done with zero cote. So the bindings, headstock, and the bridge and fingerboard. Um, so it's really kind of a unique set of woods. But, you know, as per usual, I tried not to make it terribly flashy. Um, so you sort of, you see it as a guitar first, and then you start seeing the details emerge. Um, anyway, it's a really lovely guitar. I'll play you something on it. Let's see. It, oh, it has a, it also has a, a back bevel. This is a feature I really like. Um, it's not, it's the only thing on here that isn't included in my sort of bass build. And maybe I should just include it in there. I don't know. It's, um... It just softens up the guitar against your ribs and so when you play the guitar for any extended period of time or even when you just put it in your hands this is a 15 inch guitar but it, it just it feels very slender um it just like fits right in there uh let me play a little bit of a tune here what will i do i will do oh. <laughs> So this guitar is very warm, um, much warmer than a rosewood guitar would be. And by warm, I mean, we all talk about these, these terms, warm, woody, blah, blah, blah. What it really means is it has a less pronounced um, overtone. It has a less pronounced high end. Um, and that's not to mean that it's like, like you took the stereo and turned the treble down. It's just, it's less sparkly and it's more wooden. And I think... Um, that it produces a sound that is just so 
creamy and full. I mean, it really suits the Nautilus in that it has a sort of cello-like tone. You heard that, that bass. <laughs> So very gratifying bass. In fact, I now, I just don't even want to play my ex brace guitars anymore. Um, this just gives you so much power in the bottom end. And then this guy is very, well, they all are, <laughs> but kind of this very sweet top end, you know? So playing lead stuff like that up the neck, you don't end up with that like planky, planky, string slappy sound. Um, and I think it's because even with shorter string lengths like that, and therefore like a, uh, the, the frequency is less powerful at a given amplitude, it's still moving the top because the top is so eager to move. So you get less in the ratio of string sound to top sound. Um, and that is due entirely to the fact that this radial bracing system and the thinness of my tops make the amplif amplification of smaller sounds easier. Um, at least that's my quasi-scientific explanation. Um, I'm sure like real science guys are just going, oh my God, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. But I feel it in here, man. Um, this guitar is off to the North American guitar. Um, fortunately for me, unfortunately for you, if you want it, it, it did get bought before it got there. So that's pretty cool in, in a way. Um, makes me happy and proud. Uh, so I'm sure that this will go off to its new home and um, provide a lot of pleasure. Um, I'll be sorry to see it go. It's been a lot of fun to have in the shop and to play. So there it is, the autumnal... Nautilus, Cello Burst, Tunnel 14, over Myrtle. Thank you for watching, and fare thee well. <laughs>